Crusader Kings II, Holy Fury, the Normans in Sicily. Hello there, and welcome back to the sunny island of Sicily. So, to recap, last time we went to war against young Bowman for the Duchy of Apulia. And I met Bowman in battle. I didn't want to kill my future son-in-law, so I merely humiliated him by letting everyone know of his cowardice, damaging his reputation forever. So now we control enough territory to create the Kingdom of Sicily. But the treasury is a bit short of gold at the moment. Uh, and I'm also lacking piety and we need the Pope. We need the Pope's approval if we want to create the Kingdom of Sicily. So if you notice, I've become so passionate about falconry that I'm now known as the Fowler. So here I am. Duke Roger of Sicily. I have some good traits. Shy, but you know. Let's check out my counselors, people in my court. Oh, a lot of them are very discontent. My rank. Yep. Count Abelard of Taranto, he's a new vassal. He's also nephew. Nephew Roger. You make a good marshal. We're gonna have to remake our council, I think. Now we've got all these family members that own counties in what was the Duchy of Apulia. Well, it still is the Duchy of Apulia. There's a Robert Count of Foggia. He owes us a favor. He's got some great numbers. He would make a good counselor. Even though he wants a seat on the council, he's still friendly with us. So, yes, definitely. Robert would be a good person to put on the council. Bowman, I don't know what to do about this. He's, I mocked him in battle, so this relationship may be uh, damaged beyond all repair. Mocked, defeated, and usurped. Joffrey of Bari... Yeah, he's ambitious. He's good. He's ambitious. Oh, wait. Joffrey. Yes. Lambert. Lambert is a rival of Bari. What's going on there? Yep. Bari's got a couple rivals. Oh, Prince Bishop Rainer the Lude. He's the Prince Bishop of Benevento. And he has two lovers. One is, I guess it would be my sister-in-law, Sicogeta de Salerno. She was married to Robert. Hmm. And he's also Eugenia. He's also lovers with Eugenia. He's friends. This guy gets around. This guy gets around. But Rainer, um, he's cool. We get along. Well, I don't, I don't like Rainer. Oh, now, uh, young Joffrey, de, Count Joffrey of Lecce, just a boy. He's too young for me to really. He controls the county of Lecce. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And everyone else are just the, the bishops and barons and whatnot. Mayors. Okay, okay. Let's also see who else is in my court, my realm, I mean. Maybe I could invite some of them to my court. Anyone who might be interested in wanting to come join my court in the realm? Serlo. Oh, Serlo's a really good commander. Where, where is he? He's in Cane. Serlo, come. I'm inviting you to my court. Dear nephew, you proved yourself in battle. You are a worthy opponent. And now we can uh, 
be friends again. William, my nephew William. Uh, who's this? Richard, my nep my nephew Richard de Hotville. Well, he's got his numbers are impressive. William de Hotville, kinsman. Yeah. Young Tancred, my nephew, steward of Apulia. The county of Apulia. No, that's okay. You can stay right where you are. I guess that's about... Those are the only people... Oh, interested. Robert? No. Anyone else here interested in coming to the court? Richard Declare, courtier in Bari. No, and you, uh, you're orthodox. Don't you know that's, uh, that's the wrong religion now. Everyone else is, yeah. All right, let's get the clock rolling here, August. Oh, also, um, I want to change get some of these laws. Oh, look at technological points. We have a lot of technological points to spend. Infantry is always good. That was it. Oh, well, that was it. We just had that. Oh, and legalism. Well, that's a great one. That's a good one to spend on. And for the laws, I wanted to realm laws. We get the chain update to low centralization. And all, my whole council is in support of it. So we are going to increase our domain limit. And that was quick. The Lords of Sicily have approved the institution of the low centralization law. Bishop, yeah, Bishop Eustache has voted for low centralization due to returning a favor to Duke Roger. Well, that's good. Okay. All right. And, uh, Serlo. Okay, great. Yeah, let's deal with the council right now. Let's deal with this council. Bishop Adelard. Who else could see there's a lot of a lot of more towns a lot more towns of people here. Uh, especially um, Robert. He's a skilled tactician. He's also he's just really talented. Make him a, a commander. Serlo will just be a commander. Oh, I can't fire my own son. Ferrant. Ferrant, you're just. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you have been relieved of command. And Serlo. Oh, I could make Robert the Marshal. Okay. Serlo, my nephew, you're now commander. Bishop Adelard. I'm sorry, Count Robert of Foggia. He's my nephew, and, uh, Oh, he's a member of the Dominican Order. Wow. <laughs> he wants to go after the Byzantine. Oh. Preferred war target, Constantinos of Byzantine Revolt. Interesting. You're my new marshal, Robert. There. 
if you know he's happy. Great. What else? Mayor Raymond of Reggio. Uh, I don't want to piss up, piss off the cardinal. He can keep his position. Baldazar, he's done a great job. Let me have you come home and build a spy network. Make sure uh got some people angry at me, so we're gonna bring you home for now. You've done a great job in Constantinople, but now I need you at home. Because once you become a great leader like I am, you make a lot of enemies. Count Robert. Okay. What's what's uh, Mayor Raymond doing? Is there anyone else that needs Joffrey? Joffrey, Count Joffrey. He's quite discontent. Abelard would be much better. I would be taking a hit. Um, Joffrey. He owes me a favor. He's angry for not being on the council. But he owes me a favor. Oh, okay. I'm going to make you my new chancellor. Sorry, Mayor Raymond. Oh. Why, why is he... He's ambitious. God. Abelard is also... He's discontent. I'm giving it. Joffrey's just going to cause trouble. I don't want him on the council. I'm going with Count Abelard, my nephew Count. They're both, both nephews. I want someone who's content. Yeah, okay. Oh. Make a good commander, too. All right, Chancellor Count Abelard. And what can I have you do? Diplomatic relations. Diplomacy. Yeah, what's opinion? The Pope. Maybe you can... No. So dissent with the Holy Roman Empire. Paterborn, I think that's where the Empire the Emperor is. Yes. Kaiser Magnus of the Holy Roman Empire. And I've got a plan over here for France. The King Simon of France, he's only seven years old. I wonder if you'll be interested in a marriage with one of my daughters. Yes, you can. So, with uh, Freda Sen, she's only 10. It's a little more age appropriate than uh, Emma. Yes. Hold on, what did Queen... What was that? Hold on. Interesting. Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica. Well, that's quite an entity. Okay, we get along all right. Annoyed religious authorities. Whatever. Why 
Yes. Two word. Oh. I think he's busy. Okay. Looking at Kirk Kent next. Holy War. Oh. Muslim Defense Pact. What's this Muslim Defense Pact? Who's in it? Members. Just him. How dare you? Offer vassalization first. No. No, why? False religion. Alright. We're gonna declare war. What, what, if I just did a de jour, I could just do that, but then he would probably still control. He would still control Kirk Kent. I would just be his liege. That would be awkward. Yeah. No. That's gonna be a holy war. And uh, hopefully he won't call anyone. We'll see what happens. Oh, before I do that, Duke Roger of Calabria. Oh, he's 16 now. He doesn't. You can offer him a non aggression pact. No. <laughs> okay. All right. I can conquer you anytime I feel like it. Or can't. Holy war. And the council is all for it. Great. Did you wait? There's other clues. Border dispute. Holy war for Sicily. And Count Richard. Why not? See if he wants to help me out. Let's call up those troops. Rally Point, Catanzaro, no. The Rally Point will be Palermo. We don't need Catanzaro anymore. Okay, let's go. Oh, the great Duke Roger, peace be with you. I've decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Fredesend and King Simon. Thank you, King Simon. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh oh, we're coming. Dear brother-in-law, peace be with you. Of course, I will honor my obligation and answer your call to war. Thank you, Count Richard. Thank you. What's going on here? Oh, hold on. Battle Ventini. It looks like the Saracens have caught a small unit of my men. Why is everyone going to Catanzaro? Why is everyone going to Catanzaro? Palermo's the rally point. This is irritating. So we're going to lose this battle. Battle Ventini, a defeat. That was awful. These guys. Yeah, let's get our. Serlo and Oroscore. <coughs> Army of Azar. Army of Azar. Battle of Lentini, and it is a wipeout. Azar. He's not a very good commander. Crush them with a few casualties. Let's move on, Kirkent. I've got these troops up here. We'll wait here in case the Kirkent army returns. What's this? To the magnificent Duke Roger, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We propose that Giovanni di Appiano and Egeltruda di Capua marry. 
Oh, yeah, she's getting a little long in the tooth. Uh, but hey, they're offering 47 gold. Now you're talking. Sure, that sounds great. Now, uh, where's the money? Okay. I think we have one more commander. Jordan. Here, Jordan, you take command of the army here in Catanzaro. And, uh, Stuart. Stuart. Get you to, uh, We have laid siege to Catalbalata. Oh, disease. There's all kind of epidemic. What's this? <laughs> Measles. Measles are spreading throughout Italy. Sicogeta di Salerno passed away due to the great pox. She was a former sister-in-law. Kaiser and Matilda the Tenacious has declared Sardinian and Corsican Arborian de jour war over Arborea. I am pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Palermo is doing very well. People are happy, and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Woohoo! Palermo prospers. But, uh, we've got a Saracen army on the loose. Jordan's army, we come down and take care of them with our Capuan allies. Put them to use. I wonder if Count Bowman would appreciate learning more about the benefits of hard work from me. I cannot think of anything else right now that would help him like me more. I shall. I'm not going to send him any gold. <laughs> yes, I will share my knowledge of statesmanship with him. Siege of Caltabalata, victory. Count Bowman answers to my letter was cold and detached. I am unsure whether he is simply uninterested in the subject or he thinks that I have poorly presented it, but he was certainly not impressed by my gesture. What a waste of time. Truly, truly waste of time. In fact, hold on, I gotta think about this, this marriage. really think about that. I really have to think about that. This guy's just going to cause me trouble. Anyway, let's get back to the war. Jordan, come on, my bastard son. Make something of yourself. Take care of this Saracen army, the army of Azar. After I told Bertrand it was time to head on home, he looked at me with a grin on his face and told me to race him home leaving me to carry everything on my own. I will race him. Bertrand never seems to be grumpy, always playing without a care in the world. <laughs> it will change. Oh, measles are spreading throughout the land. Battle of Gateri. So bizarre. Come on, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. And the enemy is simply overwhelmed. Battle of Grateri. Wonderful victory for my son, Jordan. He's only 26. Here we are in Kirkent, Siege of Butera. Oh, brother William just passed away. And that's it, Siege of Butera. Oh, we lost, lost some men in that siege, but it's over for 
Shake. Shake and Alice Grikent. We shall offer peace. And enforce our demands. The Sicilian holy war for Sicily has ended. Duke Roger of Sicily won. Excellent. And that's that. Farewell, worthy opponent, Antalas Ibn Ali. Where did you end up? Cadiz. Okay. My army can stand down. Oh. And measles are spreading. We might have to lock ourselves up. In the castle. Okay, I need what, what we got here. We got City of Butera. We're gonna have to give that up to a new vassal. And the Bishopric of Gurgenti. There we go. What is a title? The Duchy of Calabria. How so? It can be usurped. Because why? Because I have enough gold. Mm. No, I don't want... I already have two duchy titles. Um, if I grab an, a third title, that will just uh, give me problems. I need to become a king first. I need to become a king. I need that money to create the kingdom of Sicily. Oh. What's that? And to get to the kingdom of Sicily, I need um, 200 piety. I'm good on piety. I've gained some piety from that holy war. Um, I just need a little bit more. Actually, I could borrow the gold and just create it now. I could borrow the gold and create it now. I think I'll do that because measles are spreading across the land. And... Uh, could die. Die of measles. So I'm going to borrow that gold. Oh, I can also improve uh, Mene technique is always a good thing to have. Such equipment. Melee technique. Nice. Um, I don't want to spend all my money, but Never know when death is going to come knocking on your door. And becoming king is very prestigious. It is simply the best to be a king. Did you hear that? Even a king. I'm still looking for some business opportunities. It's been going too well. Um, Let's go visit those Jewish money lenders. Great. Now we've got 476 gold. And we can create the Kingdom of Sicily. This is amazing. Can't believe it's gonna happen. Yes, okay. King Roger the Fowler has created the title Kingdom of Sicily. Okay. I'm going to end it here on a high note. Less than 12 years, Rogers forged a new kingdom in southern Italy. It's an amazing success. <laughs>